Well, <laughs> good afternoon. I almost forgot I had to do a YouTube video today, and uh, I'm going to be probably doing some of my uh, work here while I'm actually talking to you. Uh, I got to finish this one job. So, uh, like I said, I'll be talking to you. But anyway, yeah, I want to get started here because actually I've had a, a really good couple of days on you now, and uh, I, I tell you what, it, it's been some real good times, and yesterday I think I had taken part in probably one of the one of the most exciting, most uh, jam-packed uh, feeling of excitement uh, uh, shows yesterday, and probably maybe even broke a record, because I uh, tell you what, uh, in that one hour, I've never seen so much excitement, so much going on in the chat and everything else but it was yesterday doing uh sam elliott's uh stream because every wednesday afternoon he well it's afternoon our time he opens up his uh props chest so he does it once a week uh and people come and uh well yesterday's got me leveled up i went from level 37 to level 38 i got the possibility of getting to level 40 tomorrow on a, a, a chest open that that, uh, that guy Jamie does once a month. And so it's a good one. I'm about probably a little more than halfway through level 38. So I, I'm guessing a level and a half would probably be uh, what I would get tomorrow, which would get me to level 40 before Saturday's uh, still State Sports Saturday. I want to talk about that real quick, too. Uh, I, it's not guaranteed. Uh, I haven't officially, uh, you know what, I'm not even going to say it yet, but a, a special guest, we'll just say a special guest draft analyst could be on, on the uh, agenda, I'll let, I'll let everybody know tomorrow, but, uh, or maybe today too, if I, if I find out that I get it uh, confirmed, but I'll just say that, an NFL draft analyst, and, uh, well, getting back to the UDAL real quick, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really starting to pick things up, and oh, my, my, my good friend Ryan Steele finally came back. He had almost a 12-hour stream, and I took part in about seven of them while I was working, too, but uh, but it's good to have Ryan back. He's uh, you know, one of the other guys that's going to help me take care of things and move up and, and, and keep things going in the right direction. So, uh, really good guy, you know, good Christian guy, and he's Look, he's really good. He's from uh, near the Detroit area in in, uh, in Michigan, so he he's he's a good guy, and, and I can't you know I love working with him, uh, going on in his streams and all that. Haven't guessed it with him yet, but I got a feeling that's going to happen probably in the next few days, maybe. I would say at the most. Uh, so, with that in mind, I uh, yeah, let me do this right now. I just. Go ahead and pull up the old Walmart app. And it's okay. Um, so, what we, so basically what I was saying was this. Uh, it, it, I'm having a good time. I'm enjoying you now very much. And I, I, things are working out good. And I, I think things are going to really work out well for me. So, uh, going around and find out, okay, well, the Pelicans... Uh, who are this team? Who is this Pelicans team? Who are they? I I'm still trying to figure that out. They lose the games that they're supposed to win. Then, uh, this past Sunday, they somehow bring the Celtics to overtime and beat them. And I'm like, okay. And then since they're beating Detroit, so, uh, but they got a, a good team. They're going up to Milwaukee to play the Bucks tonight. I uh, I'm not expecting too much good out of that, so uh, so that's you know we'll see how that goes. I mean, the last time they actually played the Bucks pretty well, but lost to them, so uh, we'll see how that works. Uh, so uh, I mean, but LSU basketball was on a on a tear. They were on a tear, and then all of a sudden they. Uh, they lost the other night to uh, Georgia. They had won three games in a row, and it was looking pretty good. But uh, but you know, it's just one of those things when uh, 
you, you just don't know what's, what, what's going to happen one day of game to the next. But, I mean, they did play at Georgia, so, you know, the last time they played Georgia, they played them close. Uh, we able to pull it out when, when they played at the PMAC, so, uh, you know, good day. Baseball team did get started. They split a doubleheader with uh, Air Force over the weekend, and... Then they wound up knocking off Louisiana Tech. They got, I believe, there's a game tonight that they're playing. If I'm not mistaken, um, so that that's you know big thing. So so baseball, basketball, and I'm not gonna tell you who, but we got a chance that somebody from LSU could be joining us in the near future on Bayou State Sports Saturday. I'm not ready to divulge anything about that yet. So, uh, but that could happen. Now, let's talk about the Saints because, uh, well, it turned out, now, people got to remember this. Russell Wilson did not request a trade. He's not requesting a trade. He is open to the idea of, let's say, Seattle decides they want to trade him. Well, he picked four teams that he would go to and New Orleans Saints is one up. And I'm not going to say they would be on the top of his list or near the top of his list. But uh, you never know, uh, you, you know, about that. But, uh, but I still say that. And let me, okay. I still say that, uh, you know, I think it's a big, big possibility. But I know people already throwing out the names of, oh, Michael Thomas and and uh, Marshawn Lattimore. I'm going to tell you right now, if those are the eight people you got to give up, ain't happening. No. No. Under any circumstances. You're going to bring Russell Wilson here and he's not going to have the best wide receiver? No. That, that, would, be, that would be counterproductive and very, I think, foolish. So there's no way on God's green earth would I pull that, that stunt off. No way, no how. Uh-uh. I'll give you a couple dra I'll give you a couple first rounders, maybe a, a second and a third, maybe. And maybe some players, maybe a, a Cam Jordan, maybe a Andres Pete. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Andres Pete. Maybe even throw in uh <clears throat> I don't know, but if if, if you if you throw in the guy next to him, Teron, Teron Olmstead, then you, you got to go get a, uh, a, a left tackle in the draft. So, and I think we need things like linebackers. I think that's imperative. And if we do lose uh, uh, Trey Hendrickson, then that might be an, uh, a possibility where you need to do that in the first round too. So, uh, me, I'm being careful when it comes to anything like that. But, you know, what you going to do with free agency? What you going to be able to do? How are you going to get under the cap? All that stuff. Hey, you got Kai Harley, so, so, and, and Mickey Loomis. You know, they know what they're doing. They do it every year. Everybody's, oh, well, this, that, about the same. They do it every year. Calm down, people. They do it every year. So, don't worry about it. Alright? Don't worry about it at all. And uh, so, you know, when it comes to all of that, just don't worry. Don't worry. You know, how, you know, some of these trades that did happen, you had uh, Carson Wentz moving, then you also had uh, the, the golf leaving the Rams going to Detroit for Stafford, you know, <laughs> they think the Rams could be, oh, it's a this, it's a that. What has Stafford done, really, in his career? I know, okay, Detroit, I understand that. I understand that. I understand that very much. And the Rams are a better team. Yes, they are. But, way I look at it, short-term Rams, long-term Possibly Detroit because I think golf I think golf has 
still room to grow. You know, you know, Stafford's a seasoned veteran. And I think, like I say, it's room to grow. Now, Carson Wentz going to Indianapolis. Well, we'll see what happens there. Um, you still got the Jets. They're still going to be drafting. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, love that chicken from Popeye's. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Uh, oh boy. Also, not a sponsor. Yeah. But uh, anyway, yeah, I just had to do that. Had to catch my breath a little bit. You know, what's going to happen as far as who's going to do what? You know, they still didn't, you know, we'll have to see if, they, if, if the NFL is going to have OTAs. They got to have preseason. And that, you, know, you saw ill effects of not having it with a lot of teams. So I think somehow, some way, preseason is going to have to happen. But vaccine distribution, uh, distribution's got to get better. It's got to get better. It it just has to. So, oh oh, and by the way, I'm on the list. Yeah, they stay Louisiana, <clears throat> up to age 55. If you uh, 55 and up, if you yeah, at 55 and up, if you have some kind of condition, type 2 diabetes, so, so yeah, I'm already on the list at Baton Rouge Clinic through my uh, endocrinologist, so uh, I'm already on the list. I've been given a lot of thought, and I said, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm just going to go ahead and just do it, even though, oh boy, Brendan, <laughs> yeah, so basically, I'm his guinea pig. <laughs> He's type 1 diabetic, and I guess whenever they allow him to take it, we'll have to see. But so basically, I'm gonna be the guinea pig. All right, thank you, son. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm gonna, I, I decided I'm gonna just go ahead and do it. I mean, oh, uh, yeah, I've been working all this time, I've been out and about all this time, so yeah. Okay, I think I can handle it. All right, I think that's all we're going to cover today. I just uh, wanted to go through some things, and it's kind of a dead period, you know, for, you know, I guess people who are football fans, this is definitely a dead period, but uh, that's going to come to an end real quick. But uh, anyway, just going to go ahead and get, and we'll have Bayou State Sports Saturday on this Saturday, and, oh, yes. Don't go, don't, don't forget, Johnny. The You Now Music Showcase this week. I'm, I look, guys, join me at 7.30. I'm telling you, I got a really good pianist from Norway. Name is Chris Lodi. You want to check him out. He is good. I wish, I'm going to play a couple of selections, maybe even three. But I really wish that he had somewhere recorded the his cover of John Lennon's Imagine. Oh my God, is it good? He is good. He's good with, he's good with a lot of Elton John stuff too. Uh, but oh, I tell you what, if he could put John Lennon's Imagine, put that on YouTube, oh yeah. Yeah, I, I think that would be a huge hit. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna have Chris Lodi and uh, Trying to keep this going. I've, I've, I've talked to some of the. I'm, I'm, I'm getting in touch with some of these people that have music shows, like like Tom Gardner out of London. He has uh, what he calls Troopers Got Talent, and so basically, it's all the people knew you now to come on and and, and perform. And and I, look, they got some good musicians and, and good singers. And I now want to get as many people recorded and use on this uh, showcase. I mean, like I said, I had 7,000 apart. They had Richard uh, O'Brien, otherwise known as Richard YNF on uh, the uh, You Now Ambassador. I've had Dion Yorkie twice. I've had Sam Argo. Oh, yeah, and I had, well, Richard had two songs. So, uh, yeah. So that's what I'm hoping that this becomes something I'm trying to keep the ball rolling. And a couple other uh, people that feature talent. And I've talked to a couple musicians as well. So uh, hopefully this is a, a series that I can continue going with. Yeah, and 
I think it's it, it's gaining momentum, just like I'm gaining momentum with you now. Okay, well that is gonna do it, and I went too far, and like I always say, God willing, I'll talk to y'all again in a little while. Bye.